Whenever you're ready, Jacob. Whenever you're ready, Chase. I'm ready. I'm ready. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Chase, and I'm apparently part of this motley crew. <laughs> 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 Do not put that in. <laughs> So, this is uh, Chase as he introduced himself. Um, hoping he speaks Wait, what? We can't use that though. Okay, start over. Wait, I want you to start and then I'll say hi. That's how I usually do things. Alright, you all know who I am. Um, Jacob, this is uh, my bus. I'm hoping you tune in at this point. This is episode 3 of Schooly School. <laughs> Um, I've already got two episodes down. I'll put a link in the description or uh, around me, right over here, um, to back to episode two, and then from there, episode one, and so forth. And <laughs> this is Chase. He is a part of this uh, Motley Crew, as he called it. I can't it. believe you just stole my joke. I didn't see it. Let me give you credit. Okay. Anyway, hi. I'm Chase. It's a pleasure to be here. I guess. <laughs> JR came and he went. Um, a lot of interesting things happened. Uh, he left us with a list of items that we needed to bring together. Well, us. not us necessarily. He's going to stop by at the bus compound on his way back home, he said. I'm not sure that's going to happen today or tomorrow, but he said he would. Um, and we will see how available <laughs> the uh, parts are going to be. Uh, we need some solenoids, um, uh, I think he said the star was, like, almost new down there. I looked at it at least. There's a few different things, like the weird things. So, turns out, I actually already have a transmission. Um, I'm never gonna live that down. The place where he thought the transmission was missing was actually where the radiator goes. Yes. And the worst part is that... We were checking the transmission fluid, and we saw that we had transmission fluid, so that meant there was a transmission, but we still got the transmission. Well, I think well, I, what happened was I bought the transmission before we even checked it. Well, actually, no. We did check it. I don't know which came I don't remember, first, but, but it's, it still sucks that neither of us realized this until JR told us. Um, the thing, that, the, there's a kind of a outlining of this, a lining, silver lining. Um, we do have another transmission, which is good, because I forgot what he said is missing off this transmission, the drive shaft, I think, um, which we will need to either borrow it or <laughs> replace the whole transmission, which is fine, um, because that transmission, I believe, is in better quality, better circumstances anyway, um, and I already have it. Now, the thing that sucks is that he needs to get all these parts and install them, including the radiator and everything, and then he might have to also install the transmission. Which means that's going to be an extra, I don't know, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, it's a very, very weird day. Uh, I was expecting a few different things to happen. I wasn't expecting this one whatsoever. This is a curveball. Um, the, the, the engine starts. It does start manually only. Fuel pumps were missing two fuel Correction. injectors. The engine doesn't start at all, but we found out that it wasn't locked up because we were able to turn the engine with a wrench. That's what Jacob meant. Okay, well, I guess that is what I meant. Uh, um, I, I was con contemplating some worst-case scenarios, um, like selling the bus, selling uh, transmission and the engine and that kind of thing, but I'm not sure where I stand. This is my bus, bus 255. This is mine, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna charge through with this one through thick and thin. We'll see how this goes, but right, if I if I can, I really want to keep this bus. This is my bus, and uh, I've already started digging into it. I was, in a way, kind of planning for something like this to happen, where something's wrong enough where I might want to sell it when I first bought it. So my thought is, worst case scenario, we can still convert it inside and sell it as a home. 
Worst case scenario. That, that really sounds like a bad idea, to be honest. It is, but that's worst case I mean, scenario. That's I don't think you could sell it for more than you put into it, trust me. And that's that's okay. Um, the thing is, that's worst case scenario, and that is also just a thing to ease my ease my mind. Um, to think the worst case scenario isn't that bad. Uh, but... That was some news. Well, I think this is drawn on long enough. It has, it's drawn on too long. I'm hungry. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> Leave. Leave already. You don't need to be here anymore. There are no after credit scenes. It's just going to fade to black. <laughs> Is it? <laughs>